Hey, I'm Randy and I'm the Cheap Audio Man. Here at the Cheap Audio Man, we don't feel like hi-fi equipment. Speakers, amps, DACs, turntables, receivers, subwoofers. Should cost more than a custom dog sled made out of cool wood. And this doesn't, maybe. This is the Stark Sound. If you haven't heard of them, we're going to talk about them. Stark Sound, SW12. So grab a cup of coffee, sit down, and let's talk about the Stark Sound SW12. Today's sponsor is an Asian solder sucker. When you're really bad at putting an amp kit together and you need to redo a whole bunch of the solders, get yourself one of these Asian uh, solder suckers uh, available on Amazon. I actually might link these in the description, okay? Because you're going to need it if you mess up a solder, put the wrong resistor in the place that you should have had a different value. You're going to need to suck the solder out. Okay. This is uh, mm, Charlie's. Charlie's Solder Sucker. They're pretty affordable. On Amazon. The SW12 by Stark Sound. They're a company out of California and they make a lot of high-end audio products. But they also make some mostly affordable subwoofers the sw10 actually retails for 500 dollars, which is kind of that's about my limit about 600 dollars. we usually stick to products under 600 dollars, but we've been going more expensive lately the sw12 retails for 700 dollars. it is a 450 watt rms subwoofer it measures let's see it's pretty big it's not too big but it's pretty big Okay, it's about the size, like this is the size, maybe a little bit smaller, exactly the same as like R2-D2. If there was no dome, no legs, no wheels, uh, if R2-D2 was square or square shaped, maybe a rectangular shape, and if it was black, looks exactly like R2-D2. The SW12 measures 15.7 inches wide, 14 by 9 inches deep and 17.5 inches high with, with the feet attached. It has a 12 inch one piece glass fiber sandwich cone. I like sandwiches. Mufaletta, Mufalata. I also like a Monte Cristo um, and I like a nice club every now and again. Big fan of sandwiches. The SW12 is sealed and I like that. And even though it's sealed, it goes all the way down to 16 hertz up to 240 hertz. 16. That's pretty deep. It has a very nice uh, finish. Not, it's not piano gloss, but it is available in different colors. On the back, there are RCA inputs and actually an XLR input and an XLR output. It has, of course, a variable gain variable crossover and variable phase which is very nice i like the variable phase instead of just having like a click zero or 180. it can be crossed over between 25 and 120 hertz it has ferrite magnets a stamped steel basket and a whole bunch of four layer fancy wires inside it's a good wires pick our wires fancy wires it's important to get the fancy wires it also has an automatic off and it weighs 46 pounds okay big boy all right this thing looks and feels like quality throughout the way that they designed this having an xlr input and output it is it, it's just it's it's very it's a step up for most subwoofers and it should be at 700 dollars i'm a big fan of sealed subwoofers i feel like they're faster i feel like they are more accurate for music and for me personally i am a music first guy when it comes to subwoofers however this thing will rumble the house when a spaceship and prometheus flies overhead and i know some people don't like that movie but i do this is a great choice if it's in your budget for dual duty movies and music with being able to adjust the crossover down to 25 hertz, this gives you a lot of options to truly dial in the subwoofer correctly, dependent upon, of course, 
how your speakers perform and where the speakers are at in your room. From a sound perspective, I feel like this is great. There is um, a lot of texture and tone. However, to really hear that texture and tone, it needs to be crossed over a little bit higher, really around 60 to 80 hertz. And unless you have bass management, that clarity sometimes is going to be covered up through your speakers because those speakers are going to be operating at the same frequency. To get the most out of this subwoofer, I believe a high pass filter needs to be on your speakers. And depending upon the speakers, maybe 70-ish, so we get a nice, nice, and you can mess with the roll-offs, uh, the, the slope of the roll-offs for your speakers, and then adjust this accordingly. You can really add some rich, accurate, clear, this provides bass that can give a sense of space and openness because of just how clear it is. But it's going to be a balancing act between your existing speakers and the sub. Not impossible, but it's going to take some time. At this price range, most people that are going to be buying it are probably into making those adjustments, tweaking it, and getting it just perfect. At $700, this is the most expensive subwoofer I have ever reviewed. It is, I personally prefer a smaller subwoofer. I personally prefer a sealed subwoofer. This is right at the edge of my wheelhouse, what I would feel comfortable with personally having in my home. It is still small enough. I used to have a, a Polk 12 inch, old subwoofer. It was huge. This one is not as big as that. So this is smaller, smaller package, sealed package. I think if you have a, even a large room, this is going to, depending upon placement, this is going to take care of you just fine. I was running this in my living room, big room, open concept, tall ceilings. It had no problem filling the room. Of, of course, I had it closer to a boundary and close to a corner, not like right in the corner, but closer to the corner. Of course, there was... You know, sometimes you sit in the corner or next to a wall and you're like, whoa, that's a ton of bass. And then if you move out there, there's not a ton. That's physics, right? So can you fill a room with this 12-inch subwoofer, a large room? Yes, you can. Of course, if you want a larger sweet spot, you're probably going to need multiple subs. If you have the budget for this, $700, if you have the budget for it, you're looking for a sealed sub, you're looking for a sub that's not too huge, this is a, a good size, a good size of a sub, and you have XLR outputs and inputs, or you want to connect it via XLR, easy recommendation. There is competition. SVS has products that compete and have some automated apps and things like this. All manual. That's fine though. That's how subwoofers have been forever. Great product. Very well built looks great, available in white if you want it. And it's coming from a company that I hadn't really, I didn't really know a lot about, okay? But this thing is quality and I see great things coming out of Stark Sound. Hopefully they bring out some more affordable products because I'm pretty impressed with the company. If you wanna support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon, patreon.com slash cheap audio man. Every Sunday night we have patron only Zooms. We also have a patron only Facebook group on the Zooms. We talk about all sorts of stuff. Last week, it was Phono Stages and our favorite, Live Records. It was really cool. We got a list of like 30 Live Records that were awesome. You can also use my links in the description. I don't have an affiliate relationship with Stark Sound. They sent this to me for review. They didn't ask me to say anything. But if you use any of my other links, those are affiliate links. We're also doing a summer raffle. CSS Audio contacted me and wanted to raise some money for Homes for Our Troops, which is the veterans charity that I support. They are putting up a pair of 1TD Crichtons. It's a very good kit, but it's not a kit. It's already, it's already made, so it's already finished, okay? I'm putting up some stuff, and some of my viewers are putting up things as well. It's, it's, a, it's a great cause. We're We've already raised over $9,000. I had no idea what to expect. I put $3,000 as, as the goal. We blew past that very quickly. Over $9,000. That's amazing. And your generosity is absolutely humbling. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Binge listen 
maybe through your new Stark Sound SW12 that can do double duty, movies and music, and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man.